All right, here we go. So this is my first time playing with the Eclipse changes. I have not played them since it got changed on Wednesday. So this will be very interesting. Uh, actually, you know, I don't honestly like I'll just say it now. I don't really feel like I noticed a huge difference with the uh, Eclipse changes, but there are some times where, you know, that having that lower lethality did make it more noticeable and it was just like kind of shit to not have that just you know just that tiny bit of extra burst against uh certain things so yeah um but otherwise having a plus 5 ad bonus on the eclipse so it's now at 60 ad instead of 55 um i mean i guess that can be okay but again i feel like this just done, doesn't even change anything honestly like what were they trying to do they were trying to like get rid of it like stop some bruises and stuff from using it or something right uh, I don't even know why they changed it. Who cares? But, you know, look, we have an Aatrox here who's going to still be using Eclipse, so... I mean, like... Is that... I mean, that says it all, right? So, we are just opening up with the full clear. Um, that's going to be it for the time being. I'm just going to be trying to get my Serrated Dirk uh, on my first back. That's just basically the goal here in the early game. Uh, as it mostly is with my first strike rune page. And... Yeah, first strike is still very, very juicy. I've still, I've actually been experimenting with a, some old builds. Like I, I've been trying Dark Harvest and some Dusk Blade lately. It's actually been feeling pretty nice. I have missed it so much, but yeah, in this game, I kind of had to go Eclipse just because of the, <clears throat> the way their team is. Didn't really want to go raw, da uh, like raw lethality here against this team. Uh, they are having a Diana. Yeah, they have a Diana and a Yone. Uh, Tom Kench, don't really want to go full damage there. We actually see the Diana here. She actually started red, and uh, I'm spamming here because I have bot lane prior. I also have mid lane prior, so we're just gonna jump. We're just gonna straight up go on the uh, the Diana here. Syndra does a really good job uh, following up here. Yone is an idiot, and he flashes over the wall for whatever reason. Has no escape, so he's in isolation and just nowhere nowhere to run. Um, so we pick up the first blood there. Uh, Blitzkrieg flashes over the wall, but we follow him with our own flash. And we're just going to absolutely annihilate everyone here. And Ezreal picks up a double kill. Very fucking juicy. We get three stacks of Eyeball Collection. And we get three stacks of Treasure Hunter right off the bat. How, like... Ooh, man, that's so juicy. <clears throat> Imagine if we got three kills there. If we got all three kills, we'd just be an absolute powerhouse here. But having a double kill on the Ezreal was really, really good. Ideally there, I was actually trying to take two kills. But, um... I didn't end up killing the Diana there, I didn't use my Q, <clears throat> so, um, you know, it is what it is, but, yeah, three stacks of eyeball, and we get a kill, like, pick up the serrated Dirk double longsword, going straight into the Eclipse, and, yeah, man, so, so nice, uh, so nice to have. I had this Blitzcrank on my, in the game before this one, and he was just an absolute rat, like, he was such a rat, so I'm so glad I can get my revenge on him this game, <clears throat> but, yeah. So, with the Eclipse power spec, right, you gotta take into account that your early game basically doesn't change, obviously. Like, the build path is still the same, and you're still gonna get the same amount of AD from the build path. So, there's really no major change in your early game, which means that the only, like, real significant change comes after you get the Eclipse. Well, no, no shit, Tetris, right? But yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, like... So like you gotta ask yourself what's the what's the difference between having more AD and less lethality on the eclipse and um, if any if any mathematicians in the comments could let me know that would be great because I'm honestly not a math guy when it comes to the, like all the you know the damage numbers and the lethality scaling and whatever the fuck that is but yeah um, I, I do imagine that you have a much harder time against armor I would say. Uh, but anyway, I, Yone is going to go in a little deep here, and he goes into isolation, so I'm just going to decide to get some first strike gold off there. Uh, can't actually kill him because he just eased back, but that's some solid gold there. Could I mean, like, we, we'll take that. Um, I know that Diana's on here, because I believe we spotted her somewhere on the ward, and yeah, Diana's here. Uh, bam, pick that up. Pick the Gromp up quite nicely, and... Turns out Balen's actually having a fight, which is a bit questionable considering we're literally right here. So we're just gonna walk up here, try and go on the Ophelios, but Ezreal's gonna pick him up. I'm gonna pick up the Blitzcrank, uh, try and save the Ezreal. Unfortunately, I used my Q on the minion, which is unfortunate, but 
yeah, we're just going to give this kill to Sendra. We we do want to do this, right? We don't... Like, it's not always good to take all the kills, so... Especially since Sindra is, like, taking so much time to roam down. Like, we do want to make sure Sindra is getting stuff out of that... Out of that play. Uh, because if she doesn't, then she kind of falls behind mid. And it makes it easier for the Yone to come back. Um, just in general, you want to make sure you have strong teammates. Uh, so, like, this is the perfect gold distribution, I feel like. We have two kills, three assists, like it's absolutely juiced. And, you know, we're giving our laners some kills as well. So pretty much everyone is on the same page, cold-wise. We're very, we're all just like really, really strong because of the kills we got. And it's all evenly shared, so, you know, pretty nice. So we do pick up the Eclipse, here we go. It's funny, I have the Eclipse before I even finish my Smite upgrade. Um, that's just how much gold we've been getting. <laughs> um, Aatrox is going to be running up. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be getting ganked. I'm trying to ping him to come to me. He tries to flash towards me, and I'm going to WEQ auto attack. I actually end up queuing the Tom Kench somehow. I don't know how that happens, but yeah. Uh, Diana's going to get eaten. Look at that massive shield. So I run out over here, and uh, she just barely kills me. Tries to fucking master him at me. Yeah, that's right, bitch. <laughs> so I'm not safe here yet. I'm just hiding in the bush waiting for my E to come up. Need to jump over the wall here and blast coming out because I know the Blitzcrank and the Yone are coming up. Yeah, that's what you get for fucking mastering and emoting me, huh? Yeah, not so tough without your enormous shield, are you, huh? Yeah, what the hell is that shield, by the way? <laughs> I was like, there's no way Odina has a shield that big. So thankfully, she misjudges her damage and I managed to get my Eclipse off and, you know, just kind of finish her off once the shield disappears. And we actually get out of that unscathed, so not too bad at all, not too bad. Yeah, just a bit of an awkward scenario. Yeah, it's kind of impossible to fight like a Tom Kench, uh, especially when it's 2v1 and we don't have isolation, so yeah. Uh, and because Blitz is being such an idiot and he's like roaming around for no reason, I feel this is just getting absolutely clapped on. And yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, this, I, I just don't like this blitz. <laughs> I, I don't like this blitz at all. So it's very satisfying when you, winning this game. Uh, yeah, he's just, he's just he's just a bit of a rat. It is what it is. Uh, so I really know why I went up here per se. Actually, no. Okay, so I went into the bot side here because I know Diana. I mean, we just killed the Diana, and I had some. I could safely assume that she could be here potentially, but she's not. And instead, I'm just going to take her camps. And we do actually finally feel like... Yeah, it's just sad, man. The poor Aphelios is, like, getting destroyed because he has no support. And he uh, he can't even walk into lane. So we just kill him there quite easily. Get a fourth stack of Treasure Hunter. We have three top. Diana took the Herald. So she did make the decision to just straight up uh, respawn and go straight to Herald. Which is, is pretty solid, considering I was so low. Um, but yeah, I just used this kind of path to kind of heal up because I was, I was like, low from the top lane gank we had before. We do pick up the dragon, which is nice. And um, Syndra actually goes crazy, gets a double kill, and Aatrox does a good job at surviving the dive there, which is really, really nice. And basically, this game is now a testing point for the new Eclipse. So <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we pick up the boots and now we have a Yumi on us. Like, honestly, man, it's so sad. I don't know why every time we have something new to test out, we get a Yumi on us. And it's so annoying, right? Because obviously Yumi is going to just increase your AD a bunch and it, it makes it kind of hard to judge the changes with the Yumi on top of us. But, you know, uh, I, I just kind of wish like Yumi wasn't in the game. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. So yeah, it's just a bit unfortunate, but we still get a decent test of the Eclipse uh, in this game, which is what we want of course uh but i will say though like for people saying that eclipse is dead like assassin's dead uh, yeah that's just that's definitely not the case I th because we got the bonus 5 ad on the eclipse like it doesn't feel too bad um losing the lethality sucks especially against like it's you're gonna feel it especially against the um like heavy armor and you know when going through kills you know you might have less burst but it doesn't really matter because Eclipse's purpose is always to, you know, just be extended dueling. So that, I mean, like, I feel like that's fine. Uh, Ezreal's going to be getting ganked here, so we're going to run down with the Yumi. We're going to try and save him. 
line up the Yumi ulti, find the Aphelios, jump on the Aphelios. I go straight onto the Diana here next because we want to try save Ezreal, but uh, I don't manage to do that and he's going to go down. We just pick up a double kill and then we're just going to push out the bot lane and try to get the tower because literally no one's here to contest that. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> that is basically it. Pick up the tower, very juicy, and then I think I walk into the top side here. Yeah, walk into top side to take the Gromp, and that's basically it, man. Um, yeah, I will say there's just like hardly any noticeable change regarding the Eclipse change. I mean, I don't feel like these are scenarios where uh, like a damage check even matters because we're just basically cleaning up, but yeah. Uh, I will say though, like the Qs sometimes are very noticeable. Um, very noticeable when you are queuing. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> like, it's, it's weird because every time an item gets nerfed, people are like, ah, no, like, it's, it's, it's dead. It's dead, bro. Just, just assassins are dead, you know? But we always find a way to, like, you know, stay in the game. Anyway, we're gonna walk up here. We see the Tom Kench. Yeah, look at that, man. We just, our Q damage, even with the Yumi, is like a bit lackluster. Granted, he's got armor. We don't really have much armor, but yeah. Diana's gonna come along here. I'm waiting for her to jump on me so I can get an ISO Q off. I get eaten. Unfortunate, Yumi jumps off me. And then, this is really sad because I just, like, I just get chain CC'd into the tower. It's like so, it's so sad. Like, when you play against Tom Kench, you really just gotta avoid getting eaten. It's just that simple. Once you get eaten, it's just so easy to kill a Kha'Zix. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, I think uh, if we just avoided getting Aiden there, we just survive and we kill them both, but unfortunate there, unfortunate there for sure. Um, our next item is Ghostblade. Uh, Ghostblade is going to be fairly juicy because, well, I mean, it's got 18 lethality, right? Imagine Ghostblade, a legendary item, by the way, having more lethality than Eclipse. That's just kind of funny. Uh, but, yeah, if anything, like, no, I was going to say, like, if they just decreased the AD and gave us more lethality on Eclipse, that would have been funny, but I feel like that'd be bad because, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, your your abilities scale with attack damage, so that's basically what you want to prioritize. Having a bit, bit of lethality is, like, good. Um, honestly, if you have, like, just 20 lethality, it's pretty much good enough, especially for a build like this where you're going to be queuing multiple times, um, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to walk up here, and we see the Diana and Yone on the blue. We take the blue. Um, I, I, this is a bit risky, just jumping over, but I do manage to pick up the Diana. I try flash out. Yone just somehow clips me with the W, and I am going to go down, uh, but my team is here to clean up. Uh, yeah, just unfortunate. I could have, like, played more with my stealth there, I think, and survived, but I, it is what it is. Syndra flashes for the useless Blitzcrank. Don't really know why she did that. That's fine. Um... And my team is going to be able to get the dragon there as well. So yeah, all in all, like, let's be honest. If Eclipse didn't get changed, we would kill them both there and live. <laughs> nah, probably not. Um, but yeah, there really is just no d fucking difference. I don't know. I will say though, um, I think this has just encouraged more people to go towards, like, the Prowlers and the Duskblade. Uh, I know I have. Like, I've been going back to Duskblade a little bit. Since this got changed, and this is my first game with Eclipse, so uh, that just shows you, yeah. I mean, like, you can use other shit, for sure. And if you are going to buy Eclipse, just make sure it is for the right purpose. Like, I don't see a reason to buy Eclipse if you, if, like, your whole purpose is to just one-shot and assassinate. Um, but for me, the reason I buy Eclipse is because I want to stay on the map with the Omnivamp, and I want to bite bruises. That's basically it. Uh, I don't want to walk up here because obviously like the Blitzcrank is in the is in the river so we can't walk up here but Syndra decides you know I'll take one for the team I'll walk up myself I don't really know why she did that but you know good on you Syndra for taking one for the team and then we uh, clean up the Diana and Yone that's basically it um, and with that the Herald's free we'll be taking the Herald <clears throat> and going for the level 11 in which case we'll get our R uh, R of Olve, I believe I think it's the R yeah. Q, Q, R, Q, R, again, guys, like, it's one of the more preferred evolution orders in this meta, I think. Uh, it just turns you into a really, really good duelist. Uh, 
yeah, Q with Arivo and Eclipse. Like, no Bruiser is really going to be able to fight you, I think. No Bruiser can really fight you, and you can just, like, stay alive constantly. It's way better as opposed to having E Evolve, where, like, you need to make sure you're getting those resets to stay alive. But yeah, I'm going to get jumped on here. I'm going to ISO Q the Blitz real quick. I get Chain CC'd, but it's not going to matter. Blitz walks into ISO again. We dodge the Yone ult. Again, like, we just cannot get eaten by this fucking Calm Kench. Oh, look. Uh, I'm trying to go in for one more Q, but turns out his mouth is huge. So I'm just going to get eaten and die. What did we just say? Don't get eaten. Damn, <laughs> we get eaten. Ah, it's just unfortunate, man. But yeah, I learned my lesson there for sure. And note to self, do not fucking go close to that, that champ. Because that champ is, uh... That champ is... Uh, it's a thing, for sure. Alright, so we pick up the last Whisper and a Cloak of Agility. Yes, we're going into the Collector. Just kidding. Oh, uh, actually, you know, I don't even think it builds out of Agility Cloak, does it? Oh, you know, I don't even know. <laughs> That's how little I know about Collector. But, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm going to decide to go for the Lord Dominics here. And the reason I go for Lord Dominics instead of the Cerildas is just basically because of the... Um, Kench. I mean, granted, there's not much the enemy team can do at this point, but we don't want to make sure we want to make sure we don't get countered, right, by any defensive options. So having the LDR will make us just annihilate the Tom Kench, and the Yone, who's also going to be, you know, he's going to be kind of tanking up if he gets items, because he has a shield bow, which gives him bonus health, and you know, pretty much every item in the game gives health at, at this point. So LDR is always a very solid option. Uh, Yoni's out of position here, he's gonna go down. Uh, I get a bit blood hungry here. Look at that fucking ISO Q damage. Oh my god. I mean, tell me, tell me Eclipse was nerfed, guys. I try to walk out here, but yeah. That's me just inting. Um, that's me just inting. I shouldn't really be doing that. Uh, but we did miss the W, which kind of made it more annoying to get out of that scenario. It is what it is. Uh, team's gonna clean up and push the lanes, and that's basically it. So, hello, hello, how's it going? Uh, my team is going to decide to just die, because why not? And this game's not over yet. They can't, we, like, losing shutdowns like that, it's, it's not good. Uh, especially when we're pushing. It's very easy for a game to, like, just spiral out of control if we throw too much. Especially when enemies just sitting in their base farming. Like, you got to be very careful not to give away your shutdowns, but, uh, you know, otherwise you can throw, but... For the most part, we're still like super ahead, so it doesn't really matter too much. We're just gonna try and look for picks and open the map. That's basically all we need to do here. And like I said, no fucking difference with the Eclipse. Again, I feel like I've repeated that so many times this game, but uh, you know, there's just really nothing wrong with it, guys. Don't worry about the Eclipse changes. If anything, I think in some scenarios, having the bonus 5 AD is actually better because you'll notice that against lower armor, opponents specifically like jungle camps and stuff you might actually do more damage to them i'm pretty sure that's how it works right more ad more damage that's basically it <laughs> um the only time the uh you know what? i'm not even gonna say anymore because i don't understand how math works in this game and i'm not a math person i hated math in school uh, you know <laughs> just not a math person guys so now we want to go into the baron uh there's really just nothing else to take and we're so strong uh, we see the Diana in the bush there, though. we got to be ex extremely careful. And um, once again, Syndra's going to be a Chad and just face check the bush. Once again, Syndra, the face checking madman. Um, the fight's going to break out here. There's not really much I can do at this point. Uh, Blitzcrank is isolated. I noticed the Q damage there, though. That was very lackluster uh, against the Blitz there. Diana is isolated. Kill the Diana. And we're going to see if we can do anything more here with the Aatrox and the Ez, but um, not really all that much we can do by ourselves. We cannot walk up too much. I do walk up and look what it does to me, like put ourselves in danger there with the Yone knockup, but that's fine. Uh, enemy team is just kind of hard back off, trying to get, uh, trying to walk up for the Yumi. Not going to happen. And we should have just, you know, done the Baron like five years ago, but we chose not to. It's fine though, since so we just got TP, I'm going to start doing it now. And I don't think that Dino will have a chance of contesting at all because we'll just take it too fast. And once we get the Baron, what we really need to do is just close out this game. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I have a lot more uh, juicy videos coming soon. I have been playing some Duskblade, so I actually got some decent Duskblade games in. I know, crazy, right? Playing Duskblade in this manner. It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. Okay, so we get the Baron, Recall, we accelerate a Dirk, go into the Edge of Night next. Now you... Okay, um, I feel like I get this a lot. Why would you go Edge of Night when you have LDR, right? Isn't that just going to make the LDR passive worse? Well, that is true. Um, yes, but keep in mind, Edge of Night is only a small amount of health. And, you know, what the benefits you get from LDR and slaying the tanky opponents are... You know, it's very, very worth it, even if you are building, uh, you know, just a very slight amount of health. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, we find the Yone here, absolutely annihilate him. See, like, the damage doesn't matter. We dodge the Blitz ult. Uh, Yumi ults for no reason. It is what it is. And we're just going to try and siege the bot lane tower here and try and close out the game. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's it, guys. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Just need to make sure not to get hit by any CC, because obviously this is still a very fucking squishy build, so we need to be extra careful. Ezra gets hooked, but he actually manages to get out, but he forces an engage. Uh, I have to jump out here just out of safety, try and Q the Dyna, but um, she's on yours, but I find a good chance to go into the Aphelios. Q auto, I actually get the crit off there and two shot him, which is hilarious. Pick up the double kill, I try and go in the Blitzcrank, but he's too fast, and he goes away. And Yumi's going to save me from the Tom Kench, and we're going to pick up the Tom Kench, and just basically just... Hard to destroy that fight. How funny is that that I get the crit on the Aphelios? I mean, that's just another benefit of the LDR. Sometimes you get that juicy crit and it's just it's just so good. It absolutely destroys them. Um, and... Oh man, I can't... Like, I understand why people like crit Kha'Zix. It really is satisfying. He, he, he has a fantastic crit animation, let's, let's be honest. But at the end of the day, we're still not going to fucking buy Collector, alright? So, yeah. <laughs> Now, whatever I'm respawning, we can't actually end the game here, so we're just going to recall and pick up the Edge of Night. Our last item will be the nothing, because I don't even think we'll get to that point. But uh, I think I would have probably gotten the Hydro here, just for that insane Omnivamp. Um, that would have been really, really handy, <clears throat> but I don't think we're going to get there. So I'm just going to probably skip over this part, because it really is just, uh, you know, us walking up and trying to end. Okay, we find the Dino here. Hello, how's it going? She's out of position. Um, yeah, really no issue with damage there. Even with the Yumi on us, like, it's not going to matter. And, yeah. I mean, we just cleaned them up here. Nothing else to say, guys. So, clean that up. Bam, got that. Juicy. Uh, and then we just go in the game. Yeah. So, moral of the story, Eclipse is fine. Even with, look, I know there's a Yumi on us. It's so annoying that the Yumi's on us, honestly. But even with the Yumi on us, Eclipse is fine, guys. Don't worry about it. You can still use it. Just make sure you're using it for like the like the more extended matchups. So fight extended fights with the Eclipse and not try and like hard assassinate. That's the whole thing you need to take uh, into account. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, well, that's the game's not ending yet, but you know. Yeah, just keep that in mind and you'll be fine. Um, I would say for raw damage, just go Prowlers or Dustblade. And, you know, against bruises and shit, that's when you want to go to the Eclipse. But, yeah, that is about it. I will see you guys next time. See ya, see ya, see ya. See you later.